one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way, and we create content every damn day. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, we got a guy here today, man. He don't really, hey, listen, man, he don't need no introduction, man. This guy here, Fly, man, uh, if y'all watching him, man, get on get, hey, get on the internet and you'll see him. I've been seeing him partying lately, man. When I looked him <laughs> up, hell, nigga look like he having a good time. I said, man, oh, I sure want to go with him, man. <laughs> check it, man. D-Raw, what's up, baby? What's good, man? I appreciate y'all for having me. Say, man, now nah, we appreciate you for coming, man. Sure. So man, uh, you know, uh my boy uh Money Moses, he the rapper, you know. I'm yeah. an old school nigga with a new school. I, I, I uh, knew you was gonna you know. start that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He the rapper. I'm the I'm kinda like the guy who just you know, I'm here. I'm yeah. here for you, okay? Thanks. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, just just give us a little background on you, who you are. You know, D. Rob. Before you became D. Rob, where you from? You from Houston? Yeah, Southside. Okay, give us give us some give us a little bit so, of that backstory. So, uh, basically, like I was raised by my granny, you feel me, me and my other siblings, and uh, my step my step pops at the time he was rapping and stuff like that. So, every time he would come back, he would always play stuff in the house. And it just kind of made me like want to get into it. So I want to say about like six, seven years old, he had gathered all the kids up, and then he had put us on like an intro of his song uh, to talk into the mic. And I was scared. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even want to, you know what I'm saying? Really? No, I get it. Time, time go by. I want to say at like 13, 14, we get into like lunch tables and stuff in school. So we freestyling at the lunch tables, and I noticed that. When it was my turn to go, I was killing. They was just so shocked. You know what I'm saying? They was blown away. So I was like, man, okay, your turn. He talking about, I can't rap. I'm like, man, what the fuck you talking about? Everybody can rap. You feel me? So that's when I found out it was a talent. And then I want to say probably like a couple months after that, um, I had hit my stuff pops and I was just like, I want to go to the studio. I went to the studio. I recorded a freestyle. I blew them away too. So after that, I knew, you know what I'm saying? It was a guy given talent and I just kind of ran with it. Yeah, um, so it is talent because I couldn't rap at all. Man, I, I thought couldn't. everybody could do it. You know how you gotta tra like train for sports or whatever you do. And you gotta you, train. You're right. You're right. It, it is like you're training. You gotta train for it. It's like, Man, it like you just I ain't have shit. to, so I was just like, yeah. that I was just like, yeah, I gotta do this shit. Like, yeah. Gotta well, I mean, you look, you look the part. You look like, like you might I'm just, blessed yeah, with you the might just and drop the sixteen and all that. I get it. Man. You know what I'm saying? You look the part. I ain't gonna lie. How fast? How fast can you do a sixteen? Mm, oh y'all like, speed rap now? I don't know. You know I'm nah, out to lose. Nah, baby. you talking about how fast I can put it together? Yeah. Oh okay. Probably like ten minutes. I don't know. I got my producer, my engineer, all them back there. Yeah, cause you lied. You know they gonna know if you lying. They, yeah, that's it. They gonna say no, that nigga do it in about fifteen. It depends. No. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it depends though. Like sometimes I just let the, when the beat speak for itself when it start off. It'll probably take me five minutes. So yeah. it it really is is like uh, uh, when the beat is right, you get you get down with Ooh. it. Man, oh, so you saying and, 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 we got the, and we got the people in here to, yeah. that, that, that yeah. basically you saying when the beat suck, that's when you slow down. The, the beat no, never no, suck. No, 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 no. The beat never like, Sometimes the beat tell you what to say. It yeah. do. It do. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know that's the one. Like, yep. for instance, tell you what I know we're going to go with it. I know we're going to get into it. I don't yeah. need you to try to speed pass it. But nah, no, I come on. Speed pass uh, you know, we, we got a couple of them that I wanted to hone me into. But yeah. which one do you, do you feel like is the best one? You know, I seen you and Carl on the one video. You called him dad. I know they ain't your dad. Oh, hell. Yeah, you got pops and all that. I said, oh, the nigga acting now. We ran yeah. out of actors. <laughs> We ran out of actors. We had to make do what it do. So uh, that one, that yeah, one, drink that, up. That's, that's the one you that's like. That's one of the ones. That's drink one up. of the ones which just kind of just like spoke for itself. How did, okay, give me the process. Who produced that track? Sergeant J. Shout out Sergeant J. Okay, Y'all so how did how did you how did you approach it? Like like what was the thing that made you pick that beat okay. instead of other beats? Because these beat these niggas that producing. Oh, they got a they just send your whole. They confuse the hell out of me when I'm trying to pick my little beat for my show. Yeah, man, that sends you a pack. You just gotta run. <laughs> No, what the hell to pick? Nah, you like it's crazy. This is this is the most craziest thing because uh, me and Sergeant don't normally do this. So I'm gonna talk about the day before and then I'm gonna talk about how okay. I got into making it. Day before, uh, we was just sitting around the house. You know, we having our little get-togethers, little parties we be seeing or whatever. And uh, somebody came up with the idea to like play like cup pong, like with the liquor and stuff like that. So. Um, I kept hearing this word a lot, like, drink up, like, cause you know how females try to run away from their shots and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you know, my team winning, of course, 
they telling them to drink up, drink up, whatever. So I'm just kind of like, I just took all that from that that night, and then I went to the studio the next day. So Sergeant was kind of like in this spot where he was like kind of maxed out that day to not cook up. And he was like, I ain't, that's all I got. I said, hell no, nah, I'm finna go through this shit. He was like, so he, he put me on like this file, and I was just going through all the beats. I heard this simple, keep, 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 keep. And I said, I, I told Sergeant, before the beat even dropped, I said, if this beat dropped the way I wanted it to drop, this bitch a hit. Hey. He was like, man, he ain't say nothing, you know, he humble, he ain't say nothing. So when the beat dropped, I just kind of let, like, I went to, like, the night before and just, like, recreated that to the, and then that's how I came up with it. But all that stuff was an accident, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for the game, if it wasn't for the drink games, if it wasn't for me going through the file and stuff like that, it probably wouldn't have happened that way. Man, I, I just think it's dope, the process. And, and Okay, so that's the first day. You said you had mm -hmm. a second day. What, what, what was going on that next day that was so important that you spacing it out two days on this story? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I was just saying, like, the night before and then the day. Then the day, okay, the I get it, I yeah. get it. So that's so two days, That's two it. days, yeah, that's I get you. All right, so let me ask you this, man. So, um, how how important is it to uh, pick the right beat? beat? Yeah, um, I mean, can you make something out of nothing? You black, you go be able to make something out always, of nothing. Always, always. Yeah. I, I like to go like I'm like kind of like an overachiever when it uh -huh. comes to my music. I don't like okay music. So have you what turned do turned I'm, down certain beats? Like nah, yeah, man. I like. I'm picky as hell. So so yeah. Do you think sometimes you 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 overlook something that might have been yeah, a bang? I do. I did. You gotta be careful because it's certain people. And then. I've seen, well, I think I had Sergeant Jail about this hold last on, time on, about on. that busted beat. Uh -huh. and, and if somebody else could have had it before it became a hit. Uh -huh. And and if, if and, and in that case, you got to think about it. Uh, you might miss something that may be something that could have been a banger for you I, if yeah. you don't be careful. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think you overlook it. I think it'd be a vibe. Like some be like, you don't it be do. up in that vibe. If you're yeah. in that vibe, then you're going to overlook that beat. Right. Some people going to look at it like different than you. It, that's why that's I be like, facts. That's facts. It's always that but, vibe. So. But, but okay, but then sometimes that vibe could be wrong because some of these it become could. hits after but that. But that's the, that's the days no. after, like that day I'm in there. If that, the vibe, I, sometimes I come in, I tell Sarge, my up tempo melodic. I don't want to hear nothing else besides up tempo melodic. If he come with that, boom, 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 I'll turn it down. But get what? The next time I go to, I probably hop on that beat he played before, so it's all it is all about the vibe sometimes, and sometimes I just come with an open head and and just hop on whatever I hear that sound right. But some days I just want to like kind of like be melodic and just kind of sing it out, or you know what I'm saying. So it do sometimes depend on that vibe. For so yeah, and and so do you feel like uh, how how important is it to have family structure behind you? You know, far as the Man. people that's that's personally in your life when yeah. you're dealing with music, does it? I mean, is family important to you? Facts, it is. But, you know, uh, dealing with this industry, I mean, you know, this busy-ass schedule and stuff like that, I miss a lot of important family events. And they do understand. It was times they didn't understand, but now they understand. Now that they see it, they on Instagram and stuff like that. You, they, you know, and it's funny because last week I was in, uh, well, I think last week I was in Atlanta and mm -hmm. I was interviewing the Red Sean, and he say, uh, when he was out of town, a tear dropped because his son called him and said, you know, like, you, you ever coming back home? Yeah. Pretty much. You like, know what that's I'm saying? My, like, that's kind of how my like nephew is. Family is important, man. It is. It is. And I, I try to preach that. But then again, I know on the other side that, uh, you know, it's a it's a goal I'm trying to reach to even better them. So they going to understand the long run. If they don't understand, now they definitely going to understand the long run. Um like today, for instance, I just missed my nephew's birthday wow. party. So, you know, this stuff happened. This, this has been happening all year and just like, you know, I pray that they have many birthdays to come. You know what I'm saying? So I won't miss the next one, hopefully, or the next will come around and I could, you know, do a lot more. So, you know, it's a sac it's sacrifices you got to make when you do this. Yeah, because so. if you, if you, if, you know, you can't, a lot of people don't know you got to be moving and shaking you out do. here, man. You can't you just do. be sitting idle because be at the yeah. end of the day, that that's primarily the way that the devil attacks, you mm -hmm. know. Idle mind is a devil's workshop. You know that, right? Have so you, you got to make sure you stay moving and shaking and thinking, mm -hmm. you know, so that, because this, this whole thing, man, just dealing with stardom and dealing with these things that you have, you have to deal with when you're mm -hmm. dealing with this music and the clientele and the people you deal with, there's a lot of things that come at you and i know it you know what i'm it saying is. so you just you got to be ready for that how what's the craziest thing that a fan have done to you already man this, yeah, this happened this, yeah, happened, nigga. this <laughs> happened really before this like i got to this point so okay. it was kind of like on my rise back in like 2019 i did a show at south padre 
Um, this shit ain't crazy, crazy, cause I ain't just reached that crazy, crazy. It's okay, I yeah, mean, go, but, uh, come on now, people. You got, you got fans. Yeah, I do. If, if um, anybody got subscribers or, or Instagram followers and people yeah. that be speaking on your stuff, man, those are fans, man. So Thanks. they want to uh, hear it from you. Man, I just want to say, like, probably when, like, I was, I was doing a show at South Padre, and this girl, she like kind of like grabbed. Grab my jeans or whatever. Ooh. She really tried to reach for that Ooh, thing. She wanted thing. to try to get that torpedo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. That what, did you, what you, you didn't hear I looked down. Yeah, I, I, I ain't down. no name I had nobody. My but. I, had my, I had my ice in my mouth. So all I did was look down and just smile at her. And she just went crazy. Wow, but, but hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, yeah, that nigga got four kicked and everything else. I ain't naming nah, no names. I ain't gonna <laughs> kick. I hate <laughs> Be careful about the fans, that. man. Take care of them fans, man. Nah, I love them all. It's all love. Man. So I ain't I, about that. how did Stoner for Vegas, that awesome song, how did that come about? Uh, That was back in 2019, too. Yeah. So that's when I first signed. And me and, actually, me and Awesome did the song first. Yeah, okay. We did it three months. Before that, you know what I'm saying, Stunner hopped on it. So we was at this uh, bowling alley, and um, excuse me. It's okay. Carl recorded it. I mean, he recorded us at this bowling alley, and we turned up to the song we did. So Stunner for Vegas uh, manager reached out. Stunner want to hop on this. He'll be in Houston. Woo -woo -woo. We did the, excuse me, we did the show at PV, and uh, Stunner did that show at PV too. So after the show, we went to the studio. He hopped on it. The next day, we shot the video, and then that's how that came about. So was you was you nervous? I mean, this is the first. You nah. all, you was ready to go? Nah, I was ready. The song I ain't had to record that day. Like all he did was just put his verse on there. Then we shot it the next oh, okay. day. Okay, okay. You know, because the song got recorded three months before. Okay, that. I get, I get it. I get yeah, it. So, so you lucked out. Yeah. <laughs> so so who would you like to work with? Uh, right now, uh, if you had the choice, you could pick anybody out in the industry to anywhere. Who would you like to work with? I'm going to reach for the stars. I'm probably going to go for, uh, I want to work with Roddy Rich. You feel okay, me? that's dope. That's different. That's dope. Um, I'm willing to work with a lot of people, so I ain't really just pinpointing no names, but like that's one of them because I feel like we can make some, you know what I'm saying, some hard shit. But uh, Jeremy, you know what I'm saying? I got to get some shit in with Lil Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah, I been hearing about him. Yeah. He making noise over there. Yeah, bro, ho, I got to knock some shit out with him. Uh, You know, it was a couple people. It's a couple people I got to knock some shit out with, but it's gonna happen. You know man, I, I think that's I think that's the way to think about it, man. Yeah. Cause hey, sky's the limit. You got to you got the team behind you to do it. Thanks. I do know that. I've been watching you, boy, fifteen oh one. So what made you pick them instead of going with somebody else? Uh, it's it's a crazy ass story too. So I want to hear it. When I actually I gotta go back a little bit. So okay. when I was seventeen, my grandma passed away, and I kind of moved to Illinois, Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Southside, North, West Side, around Chicago, Peoria. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And uh, I want to say it was like one day I woke up in twin. I woke up out there, and I was just like, because I quit rapping after she passed away. I stopped all this yeah, shit. I ain't yeah, kind of lost the drive. I just crashed out. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. So um, it was one day I woke up, and I was just like. I gotta let me. I mean, let me listen to my old shit and see if I still want to do music. Three in the morning, four in the morning. I never forget it. And I just start going through my notes and playing my old shit. And I was like, I'm gonna go back to Houston and do this. Wow. So I, you know, when that school year got over with, I came back to Houston my senior year. I ain't, I came back to Houston my senior year and I just went hard with the music in 2018 straight. Mm. November came and called. Reached out. Now he seen me freestyling on, like, cause I was so hungry. I was dropping freestyles on Instagram, Twitter, wherever I can. I'm dropping them bitches Sweet every week. Out. I'm spending my last dollar on studio time, recording the video in the studio, and dropping them on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this every week, every week. Sometimes twice, three times a week. So he he uh he reached out. He said, I want you to come to the studio. This is 2018. So I go to the studio, and um, the producer make the beat. And I get like one song, you know what I'm saying? You get one shot, right? So I record it. I'm thinking they kind of feeling it, you know what I'm saying? Or thinking they see potential. They might not fuck with the song, but they see potential. You, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the session come over with, I go down there, he tell me, uh, uh, what studio recorded? I tell him, I'm telling him my situation. He say, uh, you know, anytime you want a studio recorded, just come up here. I'm big. I'm hitting him, I'm hitting him. He hit me with, uh, Oh, we ain't in Houston right now. <laughs> uh, you know, we got stuff going on with Megan, this and that, this and that. 
So months go by, I'm still hitting them. Nothing. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let that go. Um, when I was like in 2019 in February, I had took a risk. I just jumped out and did it. I had went to LA, fifty dollars in my pocket. Fifty dollars in my pocket. That's I dope. went to LA. That's dope. And I took that risk. And honestly, uh, my pot awesome. Okay. My partner awesome. He was out there already with Soldier Boy. So I'm thinking when I get out there, I'm finna go fuck with Soldier Boy and this and that, this and that. Did not happen like that. So um, I get out there, and luckily I do run into some big names and stuff like that just by being in the studio. And um, I want to say I ain't link with Soulja Who was the big name, nigga? That. Chippy Red. Okay, Lil yeah, Key. yeah. Let put it out there, nigga. You uh, was uh, you pulled up on them niggas, yeah. Chippy Red, Lil with Key. that fifty dollar uh, look, you know, and talk <laughs> hungry, nigga. Nah, see, yeah, see, nigga, see, nigga, see you gotta make it look. Yeah, nah, I did look hungry. Yeah, you I gotta did be look, hungry, I gonna lie, man. See. I ain't gonna lie, I've been hungry. I slept, in a, I slept in a car out there the yeah. first three days, flat tired, cold. That's dope. People. That's what. That's, that's, that's the truth, and I think that's what people need to hear. I don't even really talk about this shit like that, but I did. Um. You supposed to if you want to jump. All I did was stay at that studio, and, I, and luckily, you know, I'm a people's person, so I'm a real, I'm, I'm, I'm a people's person. I yeah, I'll go on. Do that. So um, the owner of the studio, shout out to the room on Melrose. The owner of the studio, um, he kind of like, I don't know if that nigga can like read people or see through people, but he just kind of connected to me to the fact that he wanted to kind of take me under his wing a little That's bit. That's you dope. know what I'm saying? He said, just being, you could just chilling here. But like celebrities come through this bitch, like, they come in and out of the studio. So I'm in the studio and I start running into these people. I'm getting offered, I mean, I'm getting invites at uh, a diamond store. This is where Trippy Red and Lucky <laughs> perform. I linked up with them. And then um, Time Go Bomb still in the studio and Peso Peso okay. and all of them, they in the studio too. So I'm locking in with them too. And one day they was just like, We finna go to Soldier House. Y'all wanna come? I'm here, yeah, nigga. This is really what I came out here for. This probably like two weeks later. I was only supposed to stay for a weekend, you know? So uh, I'm like, hell yeah. So we get the, and um, I want to uh, I wanna say that same day, this, uh, a dude named uh, Corey Walker hit me, and he said, I want to set you up something with Atlantic Records. Wow. So he set that up for the next day. Now, normally, the people that go to Soulja Boy house, they stay the night. The couch, the couch shit, you know what I'm saying, sleep on the couch, whatever. But they stay the night. And um, I met Soulja Boy House, you know, I'm, I'm fucking with him and stuff like that. But he was kind of tired. He was like, we're going to record tomorrow morning, you know, just chilling around here. I had to let the records meet that next morning. So that was the first obstacle, like, to where you weigh your options. It's going to be Soulja, it's going to be Atlantic, you know what I'm saying? Because I did not end up going back to Soulja Boy House. So I picked Atlantic. Okay. I go to Atlantic Records the next morning. Um... And I'm playing my music. My music not even mixed and mastered. It's not even polished like that. But still, I'm thinking they might see the potential. Mm -hmm. So uh, we play the music, and and uh, the dude, the dude said, uh, I don't want to say his name. The dude said, I'm watching you. You know what I'm saying? You got, uh, you got potential. You know what I'm saying? You got the look. What they always say. You got the look. You got the image. Whatever. They ain't we lying to you. You got the look. And we watch you. So. Um, but, like, me personally, I'm thinking I'm finna get signed. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love Soulja High. I'm thinking I'm finna get signed. I ain't never been no big record label meeting. You feel me? So, boom, I go back to Houston. And just off the experience I dealt with being out there, I just kind of went I went harder. I went harder with the freestyle videos. I even uh, shot real videos that went up and that made a little buzz. So, called Come Back Around. Uh, How did he come back? Did he call you finally back, or did you keep calling? He, him? You blew the no, nigga up. No, no, I quit. I quit as I was like, I ain't kill. I quit. I mean, I ain't gonna say I ain't kill, but like, you, you know, you what I'm saying, just I just to it. I was just doing my own thing. Yeah. Like, you know, when you got Atlanta soldier, all these people, you you just kind of doing your own thing. When I got back to Houston. I ain't reach out to no. I ain't blow up Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm starting to see how like the industry go. If you ain't got it, like, I mean, like I'm starting to see how it go. So. Time's still going by. I'm still working. I'm working even harder than ever now that I got all this stuff in, in the review. And uh, I dropped this song called Forever, the music video, and it's buzzing. It's going up. Now, um, Awesome hit me again. He hit me through car saying, Carl, I want you to come up here. You want you to record this and that. I'm bit. Now, at this time, I got a way bigger buzz. I got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is where it get crazy, though. Because it's I want to say about this is this is like eight months after LA. 
Now, I have a manager at this time, and my manager tell me, Atlantic Records want to have a second meeting with you. <laughs> See how that works? But this the same day, this the same day I'm going back up to 1501 to record. So I go up there now. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, y'all. I ain't never really talked about this part. I really went up to, to when, what I was gonna do when I went up to 1501 the second time was go hard and leave and see, like, this is what you missed out on. That's oh, it. you went up there to let them niggas see what you, yeah. Let them niggas see, yeah, like, what you missed you had out on. on me. Man, yeah, yeah. I get in there, I do, like, First, I think first I did like a, a little feature with somebody that also was up there. I run him off the song. Then I do another song, and I'm running everybody off these songs till I get my own song. Now I got my own song. This is like the fourth song of the day. Ran that shit. So it was like, come back up here tomorrow. Now, mind you, the Atlanta Records meeting was this weekend. I want to say this was probably like on LA? Tuesday. It's in this, L.A.? Or is it's it in L.A. Yeah. But this time, they paying for the tickets. You know how they go. Accommodation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's accommodation. That's it's dope. time to go. It's serious. It's serious. Man, I want to say probably like the second day uh, on that Wednesday. Um, I, I went up there two days in a row. I'm still running it two days in a row. On that Wednesday, I think he was already talking about signing me. Okay. You know, and I came for nothing. I ain't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Woo. Jump on Okay, okay. I so, didn't even so go. y'all had that I conversation. Even, yeah, and I, and I honestly, yeah. like... Do you ever think back, like, I feel like what, what would have happened if I'd have went? Mm, no, not really, because I honestly felt like, um, you know, since it's, it's a Houston-based label, and he did so, you know what I'm saying, he did so love. And we actually talked about, you know, the reasons why it went like that. Um... I mean, you know, you all, everybody gonna wonder like what the what what that could have been like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm actually right now to this like this day right here, like I'm actually in a good space. So let me I tell mean, you something, man. Anything that God have for you is coming right, to you, right? And and everything that you've done, you walking in purpose, brother. Mm -hmm. So you ain't got to worry about it. Did I make the right? Did nah, I make the I don't right even decision? Think like that no more. Cause at the end of the day, you right where like you're that. supposed to be. Right. I don't mm -hmm. even think like that's that. that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't so even like so that. let me ask you this, man. Um, so what what would you want to see uh, in your career 2022? I ain't even gonna go out long man, stretch. Man, um, what you trying to do in 2022? That kind of rhyme, nigga. I might need to get on the mic, nigga. Hey, hey, what you trying God, to do in 2022, yeah. nigga? <laughs> you can go on the Just intro. Throw that on the oh, check. I'm not gonna be on no intro. Nah, go ahead. Uh, 2022, um, drop a drop a project. Okay. Um, but you know, I don't know for. I mean, I know for a fact that drink up a hit. Right. Okay. I want to see that on the billboards, but also the new stuff that's coming. You know what I'm saying? That's coming mm -hmm. into 2022. Billboards. You know, more um, just being out there more, getting booked way more in different states, different cities, places I ain't never went to before. You know, stuff like that, and just uh, you know what I'm saying? For me to keep doing what I love and just keep grinding. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, I know there's a lot of crazy shit going on. So hey, man, uh, you know I have blitzed. to I have to definitely bring it's up even. the fact that uh you know like uh, Dolph uh, right. passing away. I, I've been bringing it up in m right. most of my interviews, right? Mm -hmm. uh, just being a being an artist and having to uh, look at the cloud of what you know what's transpiring with a lot of the artists, right? Um, how does mentally do, does that even affect you at all? Or do, it, um, do you move a different way, or do you try to stay out of the politics of what you know um, uh, the rap industry yeah. or hip hop industry bring? How do you how do you how do you how do you side? I've lost people that was close to me before, so um, you get it. I do get it, but I want to say like music. Period. I'm not even gonna say rappers. Well, I will say rappers because it's mostly happening rappers and artists. I'm gonna say artists. And this industry we in, this is probably like everybody said it is the most dangerous job. I feel like one of the most dangerous jobs because you got to post flyers. You got to promote where you're going to be at. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know where you're going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't matter how much security you got. Don't You know, shit happen all the time. So I always talk to my team. Like sometimes they be like, man, you tripping. You don't even be into that type of using that. But I always got to tell them, like, anything can happen. It could be, a, you know what I'm saying, a dumbass nigga that do, just want to do some dumbass shit and just test you. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to stay ready, stay prepared. But um, I definitely uh, I definitely keep that in the back of my head, the way I move. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. I, know, I, I, was, I just look at y'all, man. Uh, Houston had a hell of a run, man. Right. Uh, Back in back back when when it got real real hot, you, mm -hmm. you was young at the time, uh, <laughs> very young, and um, 
now the new wave of the Houston guys, man, uh, the Sauce Walkers, you, uh, different people. Uh, it's one more guy on y'all's uh, label. What's that boy's name? Uh, the guy, the other guy that's with 1501. Son of Bam. Son of Bam. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that's y'all, like, like, let me ask you this. Um, this new wave of people. Mm-hmm. I don't even put DJ Chose in there because he kind of he and he all he straight across the board. Too. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, he did. He been on here, but um, you know, just uh, do you guys even uh, re- you know, kind of cal- collaborate with the with the older rappers, or yeah. y'all don't even y'all just mm-hmm. it's two different lanes, and y'all try to stay because. Most of the time, like vibing with the, the some of those old sounds, you know, reinventing different things, be, reinventing the wheel. Was, mm-hmm. with a, it's always been to where you you sample some of those older tracks. Right, I did. Uh, I think that girl did that, Mona Lee or whatever. Yeah, she did. She did the same. You know, that's how she she you know brought some back that was a familiar sound. Yeah. Um, are you guys? In, interested in doing anything like that with the other guys? From- Actually, that was my goal when I started uh, doing like freestyles and stuff like that. I did it to Slim Thug. Shout out Slim Thug because he showed love too on the Three Kings freestyle. Okay. I did it to. Uh, yeah, I see that Three Kings the, freestyle. The road, he not from Houston, he in Dallas. No, he in the D. But I did a cream freestyle. He also showed love to that freestyle. Shout out the road. He been uh, on here. I love, it, love, it, love the way he come through. I also did Still Tipping. So. Mike Jones, I want to say Mike Jones was one of the ones that That's a bad boy, actually man. like pulled me to the side personally and just chopped it over me and really gave me game. Um, but I was looking, you know what I'm saying, forward to that at, at that time. I still am. I, I ain't saying I'm not. I still yeah. am. I just, I just look at the way people sample music, you know what I'm right, saying? And, right. and I just think about how all them hits was back there. Man. That's kind of what Puff did when he when he came out during right. his reign. Like, and then, the, you know, like like a lot of the new artists is doing it. So right. that's why I asked about it. But um, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Man. Top three. I only want three. Number one. Man, dead or alive. Any genre? Nah, I'm going to tell you. You can pick any three in the world. I'm going to tell you, I'm only 21, so I don't want nobody to get, up, get nobody, on me before then. This is your, this is this your my top, top three. three. All right, bet. Number one. I'm going to have to give it to Wayne, number one. Lil Wayne. Now, let me tell you why. <laughs> I was just messing with you. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne had, like, this this type of flow and this, and this type of, like, you know what I'm saying, with the, um, the metaphors and stuff like that. Um, that was the f- I was eleven listening to Lil Wayne like, and this metaphors I caught on to. That's I kind of thought like metaphor. I thought metaphors of my stuff because of him. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. Um, so you like when he came out on that versus the other night? Man, I didn't expect to see that nigga out there. That nigga surprised me. I said, oh. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even watched that verse that I, time. Yeah, and I it went, that and and it went the hard. These niggas fighting on there. They throwing mics, nigga. Shit. <laughs> that nigga said before. <laughs> <laughs> they throwing microphones on nah, that thing. Nah, Wayne definitely number one for me. You know what I'm saying? Just because. No. I grew up like this. So, uh, Wayne, this kind of hard. Number two. Um, melodic wise, this is so goddamn cliche. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Drake. For okay, two. Drake. And it's going to make sense later when y'all hit a project. Okay. That's where my melodic side come from. This I'm very versatile. You feel me? Number three. Um, Number three. We talking about current, too. I don't Ooh. care how you pick. I don't care what you pick. This is your top three of all time. Dead or alive, too. Dead or alive. Yeah. Damn, I can't even switch out the number two. Um, I ain't even going to do that. Um, number three. Ooh. You know, because the new rappers nowadays, they got a lot, lot more to go. A long way to go. So. <laughs> You trying to soften up the blow, nigga? Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, damn. Let's go with um. Cause I'm still I'm going off of shit when I was when I was young. So that three always get them. You notice that? That third, that third one. Third one. You trying to ca- you don't want to cancel nobody out, and you don't want to put nobody. It don't in matter. That I ain't canceling nobody out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I just I really. We gonna go that boy with, say Lil Wayne Drake. You we might. gonna go with Roddy because I Roddy, see, yeah, I, you see did long, him I do see a long future for that nigga. That nigga is very talented. But 
Also, if I could add on uh-uh, to a slash, I know you gonna try. I knew you gonna try to do I'll that. It. You <laughs> nah, niggas think y'all it. slick, man. I ain't gonna do it. Too. So, do so it we. Too. I mean, I see you like the, you be getting in them freestyle. That about me, three king. What make you just want to do the freestyle thing? Is that a Houston thing that you're trying to bring back? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see what I'm bit. saying? Cause that's what they used to do. I just had Dougie D I, on there, and uh, he freestyled for me. Yeah, so um, y'all niggas known for freestyle down in Houston, man. Yeah, we is, we is. But um, little flip, little flip, really kind of got ah, me into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out flip. He he kind of got me into that because I grew up listening to him too. That nigga made a lot of a lot of money. That nigga touched a lot of people, and he yeah. did. A, uh, he went platinum in the South, man. I and love he used that. To, he used to sell them uh, the mixtapes right on Watkins. With the uh, I forgot the name of it, but I always gonna remember to cover him in the Lucky Charm suit with the, with the uh. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I, mean, I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about, man. Yeah. That, that was a, that was a, that was the first the, the one that I that you took notice yeah. to. Yeah, I uh, did. So. I, I think it was a, like a full project. I don't know if that was the one he did when he got on Sony or what. But mm, no, that was like 2005. Yeah, 2006. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I remember that. Yeah, you, you said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was young. 65. You don't remember, man. So look, <laughs> How do you love the like music, this. man? I do. I, I grew up around this. So this is all I know for real. So, um, what, what could you say that Carlton told you that that since you've been working with him that stuck with you? Um, he teaching me about like the business. Like now, I'm starting to make a little money and stuff. He teaching me how to uh, manage my manage my bread and just you know uh, attack these people way more than I've been doing. So like with that, I mean like um, get more in a face instead of on Instagram. So. When he's telling me that, like, I kind of took that and just, like, every opportunity I had from any club, it didn't matter. Small, big, it, don't, it didn't matter to mm-hmm. me. I don't care who I'm signed to, I'm outside. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you get signed, some people had this ego to it, like, I don't got to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, fuck all that. I'm just going to be in everybody's face. Anybody That's that I right. can, I'm just going to be in that, that face. Yeah. So, you know, shit like that, some more shit, but... Uh, I, think, I think that's important, too. Yeah. Um, do you... Um, when you when you think about uh, matter of fact, Carl, supposed, I supposed to be doing the interview with him. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Carl Crawford. When mm-hmm. I'm gonna get my interview, nigga, I, I definitely want to talk to you. I know you, do, you, know, you, do, you, you, you definitely are uh, patriarch in the music industry. Face, he gonna knock uh, it out. So, um, oh. Okay, for sure. Look, go ahead. Go ahead. We talking about him right now. Yeah, so he he just all of a sudden called. He ain't came over here. You know, he I'm gonna can. get him right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm kind of raw. I don't, I don't do the, I don't bite my tongue and nothing. So he gonna have to come see hey, me. Hey man, I like, I, hey, I live for that raw shit. So just yeah, talk he got, shit. he got to come see me. You know what I mean? Hey. I've been trying to get him for a long time now. I'm only a black business owner. Been over here for 16 years. Don't let me start. God, I had seven damn. stores over here in Dallas. I, if I can't get him to come over here, where is he at? Man, I can stunt too now. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got that. Guy. I, I'm not like over there, but I can go uh, get him for you. You can get him for me. I can go get him. Go you reach. Him. Pick him up in my escalator. He might just be it. closer you than you think. Go reach. Him. I, I definitely would love to love to have him on the show, man. Um, I, I definitely respect, like I said, his legacy and what he's doing, man. Um, shout out to him, Jay Prince, and all those other patriarchs Facts. down there uh, in Houston that really been putting it down. I'm an older cat, so. I definitely seen the movement from from jump on yeah. each one of them. So I'm that I'm just that dude that been loving hip hop that long. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't choose to be a rapper. I choose to listen to it, and that's my thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I definitely love what you guys got going. Bro. I appreciate that. So let me let me ask you another thing, man. So um, how can people get a hold of you if they trying to? You know, reach out to you, or, or you don't want you. Who your manager, man? Man, I'm finna say who it right here. Who the hell is your man, manager, man? I'm trying to shout out Sauce Diddy, but I'm finna <laughs> say it right here. If y'all wanna go fuck with me on Instagram, it's at d dot r a w w official. On Twitter, it's four l r list, and uh, Apple Music, D Raw, Spotify, D Raw, whatever y'all trying. TikTok, I just got on TikTok, y'all. So go fuck with me on that. Um, d dot raw. Well, well you, you know, like I said, you 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 you, you fake pops on drink up, old Carl. Oh you. man, <laughs> this nigga here <hell> crazy. <laughs> he act. Did my scene with his acting debut? You know what I'm talking about? We both had acting debut. I ain't never acted before, so I ain't gonna lie. I do want to be in some movies later. <laughs> It's, you know, it's easy to do that now. You could buy all. My, I, I had a dude to come over here and had a phone. He flew in. He he was using his iPhone. I'm not playing. And then when I seen it after he left, I, I couldn't believe he did that on the iPhone. You know what I mean? Right. It's so crazy how the how, how people are doing things now. Technology got you in a different place. Um, right. 
is anybody like doing short films or anything down in Houston? Yeah, like, like uh, we have we have a uh, a cameraman named Corey. Okay. He actually just shot a little movie. Um, dope, dope. What's it called? Don't save it. Don't save it. So he doing like little um, scripts and stuff like that. Little short film. Shout out Corey. And I think it's like Jeff Shelley. He doing like a. Um, uh, a little short film and stuff like that. So I'm finna get into all that. I'm trying to be a jack of all trades, go across the whole board. So do you? You got some? Yeah, it's harder than you think it is. Yo. It is. Yeah, yeah, them short films way harder. <laughs> oh, yeah, you angles. been doing them. Yeah, been I've, doing been try, I've been doing it. So it's like you been trying to get it. Yeah, I've been trying. I'm dipping down on this shit. I've been trying. So well, man, I think if, if it's for you, you know, you just got to go the extra mile. Somebody doing it. Yeah. Uh, I remember Money and Violence. Shout out to them boys. That's they my they favorite stopped. One. Yeah, but you one, you can know. do whatever you want to do. And I think they picked up that ten million off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, then they just shut it yeah, down. Yeah, that's what pissed me off. Cause <laughs> this shit been so damn good to the point where, well, man, it was so good to the point where it's like, man, it was on E. Like when that shit come back out, it was like crack for a number yeah. two. No, it was number three. Damn, y'all did two of them bitches. No, 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 it, no, it, no, it, no. it, it wasn't. Us. It wasn't it was, but they been doing series. them. They done did about y'all done did about four or five of them. Man. Mm, yeah, something like that. Yeah, but they still working. They ain't, it ain't. Yeah, hey, that's I'm, my I'm open. Shout out Zeke. I'm open to any active films right now. Whatever, I do it on. I, I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, you won't After get that out there. After that video, yeah, you said I, I got said, some. Hell yeah, I know I had some. Man, hey, so um, did we miss anything, man? Anything nah. that you want the people to know that that you ain't you ain't told nobody you about to drop this bomb okay. on them right here on Boss Talk One Hundred and One where the bosses talk. Man, I mean, just look forward to the project. I do got a video coming out with Guapo, okay, Mister Put It On. So uh, we definitely got that dropping, and look forward to the project. And uh, tonight, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and shout out tonight because okay. I'm in Dallas. Okay. Y'all make sure I go to the uh, Liddy Lynn Travel Show. I will be performing uh, and then hey. V Live the after party with Mr. Hit there. So hey man, that's, that's where he, he work at V Live. Yeah. Oh man, I'ma see shout you again to tonight. The, shout out to the, the, the co-host for working down there at the V Live. Nah, he said I was going though. Oh yeah, he he really he, he really nah, iffy, he gonna be man. There. He iffy. He do what he want to do. This nigga is a wild I was card. It, I respect <laughs> it. I respect it. But he probably gonna be there. I'm gonna go I'm the one ain't gonna be there, nigga. Man, I I don't go nowhere. I be trying. I'm you done. I'm out y'all. Wait, I'm getting out you niggas way, man. You niggas it. is running old people over, oh, nigga. Man. You know <laughs> We gotta respect that hell, man. I was just about that. What time y'all going to the show? We can't oh yeah, we gonna do the photo go shot. We, 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 we go. gotta we gotta shoot tonight. I'll do a shoot with you or something, but that's oh, it nah, for me. Good. You know what I'm saying? I want to go to the show. So so man, uh, when you come back into Dallas, man, I just want to tell you we love you, brother. And uh, when you coming into Dallas now, you got a home. We've been I here, man. You can like always come through here, man. I My wife wasn't here. Shout out to Miss Jamaica who usually be here. Shout out to yeah, it's cold right now. Oh yeah, you better be careful with that. Cold as hell in here. She have it hot. I know. So Ooh. yeah, she, so so. That boy uh, playing with the thermostat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> so so man, I'm gonna be looking at that music, man. Yeah. I, I just like I say, man. Shout out to 1501, shout man. Out to the home you team. guys, man, doing y'all thing, man. Thank you for so for coming through here. I thank Blessing the platform, man. Hey, man, and um, like I said, man, whatever you need, sky's the limit. We here, brother. I love Dallas, man. I ain't gonna lie. I just told them in the goddamn spot. I said, this is my second home now. Hey, man. Check it, man. Y'all saw so much goddamn love. You gonna do a song Erica? Huh? Oh, you Erica Bates. You gonna do a song Erica? Am I gonna do a song? We got a song. My fault, brother. We got a song. It. We got a video in a song. Got D uh, yeah, we, is it we, a freestyle? It is a... Uh, I think we called it a freestyle. Y'all called it a freestyle. I'm looking at it. And we definitely got probably like two or three more songs. Um... Me and Erica, that's my daughter, and that's really my daughter. That's my sister. So shout out to shout Erica, out to Erica okay. Big Bank. Hey, and let her know how it is in the studio. They tried to get me to come down somewhere to a a, a, a hotel, and I wasn't fit to do it. I ain't gonna lie. I got too many cameras. You see all these damn cameras? What you gonna do? Just pack this stuff up and come? Which yeah, I will, man, nigga. You got I will about four do it. Eyes on yeah, me right now. I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man. I could that night. I was kind of busy, but I definitely want to interview her. Definitely. I, being from the D, man, she definitely get a lot of love and respect right. on this channel. A lot of the people. Uh, shout out to uh, all the people that come through and mention them, man. Fellas, Sergeant Jay, he always going to show love when he yeah, comes through. shout out so, to Sarge. He's so we can't wait, man. We going to link up it when the time is right, man. Right. But thank you so much, d Raw, man. thank man. Shout out Boss Talk. 101. What a what? Bosses Talk. What a Bosses Talk. Big four. Hey, man. I'll let man. your they boy, man. On. It's a unique hustle, man. Yes, sir. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101.